Teeth. You are welcome out there for you, her face. I know her peel. From the Big Brother Niger All Stars House is. Why you real now? Uriel. Uriel. No. The moment I saw the name of Uriel and she as the bottom two nominated housemate, I know for sure that Uriel is definitely going home. I don't understand. I cried. Like, see my eyes. Then I now remember that half it lies in the hands of the jury and yes they didn't even take their time to just send jury home she even they say it's all about content right is she not giving us our content because ebuka just told the housemate at the end of this eviction live show that there are not up to six housemates that are carrying this particular shoe. And if you just want to list the name of this six housemates, of course, Uriel's name is included. Is it her dramatic diary section? Is it her unnecessary and intended dramas here and there? Why Uriel? Is it that people don't vote? I am just trying to wrap my head on the reason it has to just be Uriel. Like Uriel. Uriel. Three weeks in the house. Tell you the truth, the people that are carrying this show are no more than six. I'll just tell you, I'm not even going to tell you who they are, but I'm not past six. Do I have to say that Big Brother intentionally did not want to include the name of Tolani Badge because I don't understand exactly what Tolani Badge is doing in that house. Tell me exactly what Tolani Badge did this week that made them not to include Tolani Badge's name in the blast bottom three. Why dramatic Yure? Because Yure has a lot to offer, unlike Tolani Badge. I don't just want to suspect what I am just thinking. But wait, to come to think of it, do you think it has to do with Dalani Badge pushing people out of news way? It may seem as though that once Dalani Badge just push you away from dancing with you, then you get yourself evicted. Because last time, Princess tried to dance with you, and Dalani Badge pushed her as she got herself evicted. And just yesterday again, Yure attempted to also dance with you, and Dalani Badge pushed her out, and today she's evicted. But well, then again, let me just give all chance to my observation because I don't just want to think what I am just thinking. Why did they now choose button two this time around? Last week, Shevi they did button three, Ike, Sheyi, and the princess, and one person was evicted, Abby. Now this week, why should they now choose just Sheyi and Jurel and evicted one person? Why didn't they include the name of that Holani badge? Well, it's just Biggie's house, Biggie's rules, Abby. It's so it is another Sunday Life eviction show, and the show just commenced as usual. Hey, we can welcome everybody and also recognize the headline sponsors and every other sponsors that are sponsoring the ongoing Big Brother Ninja season 8 themed All Stars. And it is time for Ebuka to interact with the housemate. Ebuka appearing on the screen. The housemate that first see him are already nervous. It was just summer with his teary eyes. Ebuka now asks where the entire housemate are and noticing that most of them are not in the lounge already. Ebuka reprimanded them, telling them that they are taking advantage that Big Brother has been linear to them because they are stars. Then Ebuka now congratulated a fraud for being the latest father in town and also told them that all they just have to be in the lounge just for one hour on Sundays. Why are they not already ready before the eviction shot commences and after congratulating front it is time for Ebuka to now speak to Ike the head of the house I have uh, maybe some miscommunication issues after Ebuka congratulated Fraud, he also congratulated Ike as the head of the house for week three and now described Ike's week as very chaotic. And he now asked Ike to explain exactly what is going on between Ike and Venita for the fact that they started off well to the extent that Ike selected Venita as one of his BFF. And Ike replied Ebuka said it has to do with miscommunication here and there. And Ebuka was like, Ike, you did so well for just avoiding or rather diplomatically asking during this particular question. Ebuka now shifted to white money, asking white money to explain more for us to understand on what led to him saying that he wanted to start a ship with CC according to what CC said and also on how he, white money, had a conversation with Cross that they are going to let every other housemate to just disassociate with CC, exception of when they just want to discuss tax according to what Cross said. White money stuttering now said no, that there was never a time that he ever said, I want to start a ship with CC. in as much as CC has already said that he has a boyfriend outside. Is CC an amazing woman? Yes. Would it have happened? Yes. But for the fact that CC has already said that she had someone outside, so there is never a time that there was a ship between them. And over to whatever conversation that happened between white money and cross that has to do with them avoiding CC, unless they just want to talk about tax, that has to do with the fact that CC insulted both white money and cross the same day.
There yeah, was the commercial break, and after the commercial break, it is time for us to meet the jury. And our two jurors for tonight's eviction show is Diane from the Level Up Season and Teddy A from Double Wahala Season 3. And finally, the winner of the Lockdown Season 5, Lay Con. And after the usual interview by Ebuka on stage, they were now asked to move to the arena in readiness for them to evict the bottom two of the nominated housemate. And there was a commercial break also. And after the commercial break, Ebuka started to interact once more with the housemate and appearing once again on the screen he now decided to interact with venita and it has to do with the whatever it is that is happening between venita and perry he can ask venita what he called the happen between two of them like i said on a two fight this week and venita started with all her friends but from all the friends as she said i got to know that she is angry that being that she has met perry outside during their professional work that Pere is practically a different person that she met outside and the Pere that she is seeing inside. Hence the altercations and all the exchange of words. Ebukana reminded Venita that it's all about game. It was just the way Pere reacted when Ebuka mentioned that it's all about game. It is time for Ebuka to interact with Neo. Now asking Neo exactly what we all see that happened within the week that Neo was complaining that he is not happy with Adekule because of what Adekule did to him. And Neo explained to Ebuka that he yes, he has a fight with Venita. We all saw that. And on three times that he knew wanted to just make peace with Venita and Venita was not granting new the chance and the audience that the one that got to know was that whole time that Venita was with Adekunle in the pink room and while he was making an attempt to speak to his blood and Adekunle was like she's not in the mood to just speak to you Neo now said that he felt offended for Adekule to intervene in such discussion, being that he knew Venita from nowhere. And he was like, okay, maybe they have something. And that was why Venita decided to choose Adekule over family. So it's all just good. It was just the way Venita was just reacting when uh, Neo was just speaking. And it took Adekule covering Venita's mouth for her not to just talk. And she was like, thank you so much for stopping me. I'm not going to talk. Thank you, Venita. Why did you just choose to play this particular game with your own family? I hope you are just trending on the right path. Well, Ebuka is back on the stage, so it's time for the eviction. And now, <laughs> the envelope is here, and the name of Yurel and she is already in that envelope. And Yurel, uh -uh, you guys are not voting anyways. Ebuka has just asked the ninja to just send the name of the nominated housemate to the arena for the juries for them to cast their final vote immediately they show the juries the name of the nominated housemate ah uh ah -uh, tda did not even take out his time to just cast his vote and he just said i know who i'm just sending out of that house hey diana was practically shaken i was even already saying big brother i don't think i can do this thing and uh, according to lecon two of them are my personal friends i know them very well i don't even know what i am just going to write it took diana time for her to just cast her vote and ebuka also told them to just do that immediately and the vote was casted and they gave the ninja the envelope. There was a commercial break and back on stage. Ebuka show us who cast vote. He said not yet that he has to just evict. And going back to the house, this is how Ebuka now evicted Yure. And of course, the entire housemates were just so shocked that Yure has been evicted from the ongoing people that the all stars eviction. And she is already back on stage. And on stage now, which Ebuka won't just tell her now uh, to describe whatever it is that is happening between her and Neil. And this one and that one she said yeah she likes new the new is amazing and she also admitted that she's going to wait for new outside the house and Ebuka recognized and be recommended and be uploaded her week game in the house and she took the opportunity for her to do the PR of her week he said that every of her week is her because she is selling weeks so if you can't just own one from all the weeks that she has been running in the house that you should please patronize her they didn't ask her much questions and that was how Ebuka told her to just leave the stage so Sheina escaped again like she is the last person on the list what is the work of this jury last week she is supposed to be the one that was supposed to be evicted right he escaped this week again he escaped so it's all about men supporting men Abby. 
I noticed that from the result of the juries that she got one vote and Yuri got two votes, then you will know that it is Teddy A and Lekhon that voted Yuri out. Yes. And Diana, of course, now supported her fellow member writing the name of she when Yuri is just gone. And I am definitely going to miss her dramatic diary section and all her intentional dramas. Okay, just like if guys advised the tell me that there are no rich six we can't carry this particular show. Let's say that what they're going to do. And they were not so happy because Yuri is gone and they were still so happy because the game continues. Venita actually cried when Yura was asked to leave the house. Soma also cried. But as I'm just trying to wrap up this particular video, I see Soma thanking God in the garden. I don't know exactly what Venita and Adekula is discussing because I'm just going to pay attention to that because I need to just conclude this particular video. I am sadly sad that Yura is gone. They just allow our votes to count. You see these juries, they are the ones spoiling this game because they practically voted Yura out based on sentiment especially Teddy A. I am saying it exactly the way it is. Oh well, it be things. Yuri has been evicted just like Princess has been evicted last week. So the housemates are now down to 18 housemates. So this show continues now in the comment section. Do you think it's high time that they scrap this jury thing because it's actually affecting our vote? Or do you think that the juries are just right to do their job do share your thoughts with me in the comment section and to me i felt our votes should just count and whether you agree or argue with me first corinthians 14 40 is this the first time ever you're coming across my channel please do not leave without publicly promoting and publicizing my channel by simply clicking on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel also to endeavor to turn on the notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button for you not to miss out once i upload any fresh interesting and entertaining things that has to do with the on game people that Nigeria season it themed all stars addiction as an entertainer it's always my pleasure to entertain you guys with entertaining entertainment oh grandma kanodi is gone <laughs>